Hi everybody. Uh, this is going to be my first ever video of uh, documenting urban exploration and I just want to let you know I have no idea what I'm doing. Absolutely not. I, I have a bunch of friends that do it. I have some friends online and YouTube and everything that like to go and find these haunted places and abandoned places and document them all. Uh, and I've been told very, very many times to do it. So here I am, finally doing it. Um, today, I'm going to be scoping out a couple of places, uh, more so in the Fort Mill area. Uh, one in particular is going to be the Heritage USA Hotel that was once part of the famed uh, Heritage USA, USA theme park. And I don't know very much history about it. I just know that it's been abandoned for the last 30 years and I really just want to go and check it out. Um, I'm not expecting anything paranormal. I'm not expecting anything at all except more so just forgotten things in an empty building. So we'll see how it goes. It's gonna be a learning process and I'm actually very excited. And you see the thing about these kinds of places that make me super excited is, you know, it's just the fact that there could be so much left over, you know. I know that this place was, uh, it, it wasn't finished. I know that it was still under construction by the time that they had abandoned it. Um, so who knows? I don't know if the, if the rooms are ready. I don't know if it's just an empty shell. You don't know. But like I said, that's the cool thing about abandoned places that you just never know what you're gonna find. So I'm hoping that when I get there, that, uh, well, I'm not going to get kicked out or, you know, I'm, I'm going to be able to find my way in there or whatever. There's so many different kinds of variables to think of when it comes to urban exploration. But like I said, I have no idea what I'm doing. So this is going to be a learning process for sure. For sure. I do also want to take a second and point out that um, I'm going to be trying my best to stay as local as I can because, you know, I don't have the money to, to be traveling the States like some of these people do and they go out of their way to to go and find these places, to go and find some ghosts, or, you know, just history, or whatever, but th there's something about the Carolinas that just screams history, and, you know, I, I want to be able to find it, I want to be able to learn as much as I can about these places, and what may or may not have happened, all the rumors, all the stories, you know, all, all that jazz. I'm a transplant here in the Carolinas, just like, I don't know, 95% of the people here, um, but like I've, I've, I've been here almost seven years and I've learned so much. I've been to many, many different places. Uh, and one place that I definitely want to go and try to film is up in Asheville for sure, because <laughs> I don't even get me started on what you can find up there. Yeah, it's, and it's also such a really cool place as well. But yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know, um, I'm going to try to stay in the Carolinas and if, uh, if all goes well with this channel, who knows? I might be able to travel outside of all of that and explore more of the South. I don't know, that, that to me just kind of sounded a little scary, especially because you know, my complexion. So, <laughs> I'm just kidding. So, I have to show you guys something. I'm not there yet, but I had to turn around just so I can show you guys this. Again, I'm not super familiar with the area, but like, there's this, this like dreamlike castle here. Hold on just a sec, let this red light go. Yeah, look, you gotta, you gotta look at this. This is some kind of church or Christian academy or something, but like, look at that. Look at that thing. What? That's like something straight out of a Disney movie. Like some sort of, or like Lord of the Rings or something. That's fucking wild. And it just keeps going. It just keeps going. It almost looks like a government complex with a with a castle interior and exterior. That's too funny. One thing I can tell you about the South is that Southerners take religion in, with pride. And there are churches literally everywhere for every sect here. And the, the one that's, the, you know, it's going to be the most prominent are the Christians and the Catholics out here. Especially, you know, the... Uh, Baptists and Presbyterians and all that it, it it's kind of wild uh, I respect it but sometimes they go a little crazy and there are literally as many churches as there are Starbucks and McDonald's here if not more so 
that's another thing that I'm still trying to get used to being down here in the south. You know, there's something odd about these businesses that like to buy out these old looking houses. I wonder if there's a history behind them. But like, as you can see, AAA is in there, computer repair is in there, State Farm, all that. And an old house. Crazy. Now you take Park Road all the way then down, you'll be right as rain. Uh, you take Park Road all the way in down to Lancaster Highway, and then, then, then you'll be right as rain. Right. Now, it's my understanding that this is the road that everyone would take when it came to trying to find this theme park. Like, this was the main road, or at least coming up onto the main road. Now, I've heard a couple of stories here and there about... Uh, this this Heritage USA theme park and it seemed like back in the day apparently it was number three in the list of um, in the list of theme parks to go and visit in the US now I'm uh, it says I'm not too far away but um, you know this is apparently what people would see and look you see the upper room chapel this is definitely definitely the right area for Christian abouts, I guess. <laughs> and there she is in all of her glory. You can see the domes for the old for the old uh, buildings and everything, but look at that, dude. That thing is huge. I wonder if I'll be able to get in there. And if I can, I want to get to the top. I'm putting that out there in the universe. That is ominous. And then look at these guys over here. Like, look, wait, wait, wait. There's no one behind me. Look at those domes. What is that? So it's gated off here, so I can't quite park here. Uh, let's see if I can make my way around. Man, that is awesome. Wow. That's funny. I live on Sugar Creek, but nowhere close to here. So I'm not seeing any security at the moment, but like I keep seeing all these all these entrances that are you know gated off. But I want to see if I can make my way in there. So I'm gonna try to park somewhere and walk over. Oh, God, look at that, man! That thing is huge, and it looks like it's just a, a skeleton. And apparently, these also used to be like shops and little uh little summer homes to get away from and as you can see there's the grand hotel that, that's still on property that's still being used i'm not going to go in there because i know that they're not gonna they're not gonna let me in there and i think actually now that i think of it this is also part of that hotel yeah it just keeps going but wow this is this is crazy i'm not seeing any ways to get in especially in the middle of the day. I may have to come back here at night. I might. But I'm gonna see, I'm still gonna try to walk around and check this place out for sure. I think there's surveillance here. I'm not trying to break any laws or anything, but like, this is so crazy. Look, it even said, it even says coming soon. What? Dog. Now this is nothing but homes and parking lots. But apparently there used to be, I think it was in this area that there used to be a water park of sorts. I'm not sure, but the domes that we were seeing were part of this actual freestanding hotel that's still here and still being used. I mean, there are people, there's people in the parking lot. there's people actually staying here right now. But like, this is surreal. Why is this still here? Like, I don't know if anyone is gonna buy it out to try and, you know, make something out of it, but like, look at it. It's dilapidated and falling apart. I mean, the brick is falling off the side of the building already. 
everything is broken out and just not finished. God, this is asking me to go inside, but I might have to go, I might have to come back at night. I don't know. This place is massive. It's absolutely massive. Like, there's no way that someone would just leave this here, especially, like, especially with all the construction that's happening and especially all around Charlotte and parts of South Carolina and all that. But like, look at this. This is nuts. Why leave this here? Why would anyone leave this here? Especially in the middle of, I mean, look, there's houses right there. That's gotta be an eyesore if you're living over here. And then there's the other hotel. I think there's more houses that way, but like, gosh. And it's all fenced off over here. And it looks like no one has gone in this place for a long time, even with all these people just being around and checking in. Oh, this seems like a nice hotel. Ooh, look at that old building. Yeah. And I don't know what this is. Some sort of maintenance building connected to it. I'm not sure. Storage. Ugh. Oh, listen. Can you hear it? I don't know if you can hear it, but I'm hearing a lot of squeaking. And I think there's a bunch of rats around. Listen. You hear it? Oh, if I go in there, I'm gonna have to wear some boots. That's not gonna work out. Actually, wait. It's coming from here. if you can hear it but it sounds like a bunch of mice or rats or bats wow and it looks like they were trying to build something else over here too but they just kind of stopped and now it's all overgrown for how old and abandoned this is the overgrowth is not that bad i was expecting vines everywhere and shit but mm. And here's that warehouse. I don't know if I want to go in there. I definitely don't know if I want to go in there. I'm not prepared for that. And I just found this too, just trying to do some B-roll shots. And look at this. I'm not too sure what that is, but it looks like, it looks like a barrel. Do I want to... Oi! <laughs> there was a wasp. I don't know what that is. Oh, well, it's not a gun. Let's put that back. That's weird. And you can see where it looks like either those are supposed to be balconies or like hallway windows, but they never finished. Everything is just kind of, like you got these bars that are just standing out, sticking out. And they look like they can fall at any time. What made them stop? I wonder. <gasps> no. No. Oh no, there's a way in. Oh no. You know what that means. I'm probably gonna have to come back. But I just noticed there's a camera over there. So I think they got it filmed. Yeah, there's a little camera on that. Oh, that's crazy. So I think they knew. I think they put that camera there. And you see? I think they put that camera there because someone got in at one point. That's strategically placed. <laughs> wow. This is crazy. I'm gonna, 
I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if I want to break the law or anything and get in trouble with these uh, so, so, so Christians or whatever. Because I don't know if this hotel is ran by a Christian society or anything, but like still. <sighs> Coming soon. Coming soon. When? Yeah, there's absolutely no way to get in here without being seen by these people. I mean, God is just asking me to go in there. I want to know. Morning Star Fellowship Church. I don't know if that's recent. The sign looks like it's been there for a while. Oh, man. That's cool. And they still got the original, like, wrought iron you know, railing and everything for, God, this just go, this goes. Wow. I don't see any construction happening, buddy. something fell so I'm making my way back to the car because I'm getting some funny looks already from some of the people on campus here uh, I hate to break it to you guys but I don't think I'm gonna be able to get in here today uh, the only way in is covered by a camera and I'm not quite sure you know how much security is here or even if it's worth it but like come on don't entice me like this. You're beautiful. Ugh. I'm going to have to get a second look at this place for sure, but I think I'm going to get out of here before people start taking notice and say, hey, what are you doing? And, you know, then get a talking to of a lifetime and try to get pulled into the church. I'm just kidding. But there she is. I hope I can come back. I want to know what's inside. I want to make my way to the top. And I'm going to learn a little more history about this place, for sure. And maybe then, maybe then I'll be more motivated to well, break the law. Or such, I guess. I don't know. In the name of science. So I had to go back. I had to go inside to see if I can, you know, Take a, take a couple of shots on the inside to see what the hotel was looking like. And of course they said no, I have to be a guest and everything. And oops, I just went the wrong way. Um, but, you know, I still had to go and try. And of course I had to go and find security. And I asked them, I said, is there any way that I would be able to go in and, you know, be able to document? Because I'm, I'm, trying, I'm trying to, you know, I'm trying to make a film and everything. And they said, no, you know, I'm sorry, you have to... You have to be part of the construction crew. And I'm just like, there's a construction crew? And they just didn't say anything about it. And I'm like, sir, if you're not going to be... If you're not here to check in as a guest, I'm going to have to ask you to leave. So I, I did. And now I'm trying to find my way out of this parking lot. And of course, I'm getting lost with every single turn trying to talk to y'all. But <laughs> it's all good. I'm going to try to come back here at some point to see if I can make my way inside. You know, I may end up getting in trouble, but I really, I really have to know. I really have to know. I mean, look at this. It's screaming my name. Like, I have to go inside here. I need to know what's inside. So, anywho, that's my dilemma today. My fun has been cut short, but I'm definitely going to try to come back. There she is with all her glory. Goodbye. I'm definitely gonna try to come back soon because that hole in the gate is uh, really calling my name there. <laughs> oh man. I'm definitely, definitely coming back here. Sorry for cutting this video short, but uh, this, was, this was me dipping my toes into the water. And um, I don't know, if you guys want me to go back, 
I'm gonna need some likes and some subscribes, please. Because if I'm gonna be breaking the law for y'all, I'm gonna need something in return. So, <laughs> um, check in with me as much as you can. I don't know how how often I'm gonna be able to uh, to upload and go out and explore, but I have a list of places that I wanna go to and I'm definitely gonna be going into some of these places, that's for sure. My next one, I'm, uh, I'm planning to go to a uh, some sort of boarding school up in Statesville. I want I, I can't quite remember the name off the top of my head, but apparently it's haunted. And hopefully by then I'll have the rest of the equipment that I need in order to you know in order to do what I need to do and get you guys some good viewing pleasure. So thanks for checking in on me. And uh, also to the Heritage USA Hotel, I'm coming back for you. You better be ready.